Oregon chub are small minnows that are endemic to the Willamette Valley of Oregon. They only reach about three inches long and they live in side channels, sloughs, and beaver ponds along the river. Oregon chub were listed as endangered under Endangered Species Act in 1993. The reasons for listing were loss of habitat and the introduction of non-native fishes. So why should we care about Oregon chub? Oregon chub are um, the only fish that's found exclusively in the Willamette River. All the other fish that we have in the Willamette can be found somewhere else. The habitats that support Oregon chub support a lot of other species. And when Oregon chub are doing well in a habitat, the other fish are doing well in these habitats too. Oregon chub live in sloughs, backwaters, um, beaver ponds, the kind of muddy habitats where a lot of people don't really like to go uh, spend a lot of their time. These are places that the original Willamette Valley um, really looked like. There's a lot of uh, sloughs and side channels in the Willamette Valley um, historically. Um, Oregon chub are really tied in densely with uh, beaver dams and, um, and beaver habitat. Um, these are typically really muddy spots with lots of dense vegetation um, and they're you know, pretty mucky. <laughs> Recovery of Oregon chub was a long process that was involved a number of stakeholders. It included federal agencies, state agencies, and a number of uh, watershed councils and others. The process uh, began in 1998 with the uh, drafting of the recovery plan. Uh, we implemented that plan. It involved uh, uh, protecting habitats, introducing Oregon chub into suitable habitats, and the discovery of new populations through massive search throughout the Willamette Valley. Even though Oregon chub are now recovered under the Endangered Species Act, our work is not completed. We will continue to monitor the species for a number of years, and the partnerships that we've forged with the various agencies and landowners will hopefully ensure that they do not become relisted in the future. So what have we learned about Oregon chub? When we initially started working on the species, we knew very little about Oregon chub. But in the last 22 years, we've learned a great deal about the flow and habitat requirements that allow Oregon chub to coexist with non-native species. Probably the most important thing we've learned is that recovery of endangered species is within our reach if we work together with our partners.